All right, so you want to know how to tune. Well, you came to the right video. See, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about tuning. And uh, without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So, boom, we're in the upgrade shop. This is the first place you want to be before you start your tuning, your upgrades, you know, because you, you got to upgrade and stuff before you can tune. You can, you can still tune the stock car, like tire pressure and stuff, but... You know, you want to unlock more things to tune to perfect your performance of the car. So we're making an S1 class car. This is the McLaren uh, 570S Coupe. <laughs> so, um, so how I start, instead of starting from engine shop, what I start is from upgrade shop. Well, everyone should right here, the conversion. You check for conversion, honestly. Uh, might not do any conversion, but this actually looks pretty good. So it does give us more horsepower and less weight which is key making your car as light as possible is like key to top performance you know and you don't want too much horsepower because you're gonna get real spin you know so 602 horsepower is pretty good for this weight and we have a lot of pi points to spare right um but let's go here real quick before we do that go to your drivetrain because you want to make it all-wheel drive so you see absolutely making no sense you get four extra points to spare right here pi to spare and you get better launch and accelerating with all-wheel drive that's crazy so you want to select all-wheel drive and then you want to go to the kit the conversion and you want to add in this conversion so it makes it a ton lighter so we'll add that in so we have an option for a turbo but we're not going to add that in as you see it gives us like a lot of stuff um, actually we can go back to it but now we want to add some arrow arrow is pretty important front arrow for turning and then rear arrow you know we get better cornering we lose speed because of drag but we get better cornering. so obviously you want grip so we're gonna take the race tire compound Boom. and then you're gonna thicken up the front tires you can go to max I go right here and then the rear I go max thickness right here and then rims you can choose whatever rims you want but they got to be light so you got to find the lightest rims so I'm guessing minus 14 is the lightest you can get so these look pretty good to the original so we'll get those light rims you know you can make them thicker if they're already pretty thick 19 is fine I ideal would be like 18 you also want to widen your tires a bit or widen out your wheels you know Hold on, let me rub my eye real quick. It's a little itchy. Boom. So, now you can go over to the drivetrain. You want to upgrade your clutch. You know, you want to upgrade your transmission so you can you know, customize the gears. You want to upgrade this, whatever that is, and then your differential. Max that bad boy out. doesn't do too much. It only cost me one PI. And now we can get here. So, this the stock brakes are actually pretty good on this car to keep them so we'll go with the race spring and dampeners right here we'll go with the race anti-roll bars and then we'll try to do as much weight reduction as we can so we can do one minus 170 pounds and we have eight pi points left to spare which is pretty good so let's see the stats of a car now so 602 horsepower 413 foot pounds of torque and 2874 pounds that's pretty good we got an acceleration of 1.8 0 to 60, a top speed is 1.93 for now. That's going to change. And then you want to go over here to engine. So I was talking about earlier, you could lose like some, you can add some weight to the car if you want even more horsepower. But personally that, you know, you get more cornering and stuff. So I would, I would stick with the lighter car and less horsepower would be easier to slow it down as well. So now we're going to look through all of these. So you're going to go over to displacement first, and then you're going to see how much horsepower does it add you? How much PI points does it count? And you're going to do it through all. So that was 28. This is 15. This is 21. This is 16. This is 19. This would be 18. And then this would be 13. So we saw the best one was the displacement. So we'll get displacement. 
and you could probably go through these again and see you have two more pi points to spare you can put that into power so that already too much that costs three how much would this be oh 11 horsepower right but there's other options so you can look through them again 20 horsepower you got 16 right here 21 right here and then 15 right here or you can make it just a tad bit lighter but this flywheel so the flywheel didn't use any points so we made it lighter and we can go to the intake or not intake um yeah and pump it up so we got nice good 11 horsepower on that bad boy it's pretty light 2872 pounds 5000 5700 cubic centimeters of displacement wait yeah i think i think that's right <laughs> cubic centimeters i believe yeah so this is what you can do or you can you know ditch those tires probably get turbo or you can go straight up to s2 but i'm making an s1 tune you know so those will be all the upgrades for the s1 tune you can apply the same thing you can always change it up you know if you don't like my method you can use whatever method suits you you know makes your experience more fun so we're gonna buy this it didn't cost that much only 54 grand that's two races right there for you and you get that money maybe even if you have a wheel spin you can get lucky and get a nice nice wide fat wad of money okay anyways now we're gonna go to tuning so from tuning i start all the way from differential and go down right so i look at this so i try to keep my acceleration like between 30 35 We'll put it to 35 and, you know, mess around with it a little bit. And right here in D-cell, I'll turn this bad boy down to zero. Right here for the rear and for the front, we could turn it down to like 45, 50, between like 40 and 50. So we'll go to 45. Boom. And then rear, you can always bump this up uh, or to the balance. You can always bump it up to the rear. As you can see, that made our acceleration fast. Look at that. It was 1.8. Look at this. We go down five, 1.75. We can go down five more. Acceleration gets even faster. We can go down five more. All right, let's see if we can go down any more. Obviously, we don't want to make this any real wheel drive vehicle. You know, it's all wheel drive. So we'll stick to there, I think. 75 was, yeah. We still want power to the front tires. So that's basically your differential, not very difficult. Now we go to brakes. Um, honestly, you can keep brakes here. If you're like, have ABS, you can like leave this. I wouldn't go too much in the front because if you brake and you slightly turn, you'll spin out and stuff. Uh, so if you don't have ABS, you can go to like 95 pressure, 90 pressure, you know. But I've, I use ABS because I don't care. So I use ABS. So yeah, so arrow. This is going to be the sad part. You are going to lose max speed because of drag. But you will have much more superior cornering and grip. So as you can see, well, let me get my miles. We lost how much? How many miles an hour did we just lose? So we were at 196.5. And then we went all the way max. 194.9. We lost a lot of power. So you want to go to max. You can go to max on both. It, it doesn't matter. Um, or you can go a little bit lower as you can see that didn't affect our speed too much, but it's gonna affect our cornering like crazy So we'll go there. All right. So now these three things right here. There's a certain Equation you want to do For all these they'll apply to all of them. So let me tell you this equation right now So the equation is is you want to get the max number of this bar and the minimum number and divide it or and subtract the minimum from the max and then you will multiply the weight distribution of this car with what you got after subtracting the minimum from the max and then you would add the minimum so let me show you um, so how do you get this number actually first this uh, um, weight distribution so you want to leave the setup you know you want to save it. you want to go back to customize upgrade just go to random upgrade and then click up or whatever it is to like show up to toggle you're gonna see my, my weight distribution right here front 45% so that means the rear would be 
55%, right? It'll be 55%. 45, 100 minus 45 is 55%. So then we're going to go back to tuning. We're going to go to dampen. So what was it? It was 20 minus 3. Okay. So 20 minus 3 is 17. And so because this is the front, we're going to use the front first, which is 45%. So 17 times 0.45 equals 7.65. And then you're going to add that by 3. So what we got was 10.65. So we can't get exactly 10.65, but we can get 10.6 or 10.7. We'll just round it up. And then same thing for here. It was 17. So 17, but instead of doing the front, you're going to do the rear, which is 55. So 17 times 0.55 is 9.35 plus 3 is 12.35. So we're going to bring this up to 12.4. And bump stiffness. So this is like basically 65% of this number. I think it even tells you here. If you can scroll down, it should tell you in the description. See, bump dampening should be between 50 to 75%. We'll do 65%. So for the front, we'll do 10.65, uh, it was 65, we'll just do that. 10.65 times 0.6, 6.39. So we're gonna look for 6.4, right there. And then 12.35 times 0.6 is 7.41. So we're gonna look for that for 7.4. We're not get four. Okay, there we go. And boom, we're done. And you want to apply the same equation to all the rest of these. So spring max is 1,488 minus 297.6. 1,190.4 times 0 0.45 plus 297.6. That's 800. 33.2 Those will be the closest and I'll get back to you guys when I finish with uh, With the, this too. Oh, actually I'm not gonna get back to you guys. But I, I have to show you this. So what I do is I go all the way down and I just bump it up by one That's about it right, So now I'll get back to you guys when I'm done doing the calculations right here. All right, so now we're done so now these last three things, or actually last two things, tires and alignment. Let's do gears real quick. So basically gears is pretty easy. This final drive, I'll go in depth with this in a later video if this video does good. So you just wanna bring this up if it's, you know, too long and if it's too short, you wanna bring it down. So how we do it is we want the last line right here to just kiss the corner of the edge right there. So just like this. Um, use my controller for more precision just like that and that's pretty good gear so now alignment and tires will be probably the most difficult part for me to explain I'm not very good at explaining but um so camber is the degree of the tires like when they're rotated um uh, okay let me explain so let me retry that. So zero degrees of camber would be the uh, angled out. The bottom of the tire is going to get angled out of the car. The top of it is going to go in. So if you've seen those like retarded cam cam like negative 20 camber designs on some like weird cars, probably no. I, I don't know how to explain camber to you, cable camber to you guys. But, um, yeah, and I have no clue how to explain caster either. I mean, you got like you can probably read up here and stuff. So, I, d I don't know how to explain caster. Um, and I, I just keep it at 6 or 6.5. But I'll set the camber to 0 right now. And then let's do tires real quick. So, uh, to do tires, you're going to have to go and drive this car. So, we're going to apply that. And let's go and, and drive this car. All right, so you're gonna wanna pull up telemetry. So if you don't have that keybind, you wanna go to settings and keybind it, you know? 
uh, let me pull up telemetry, which if I remember is T. Yes. And then we're going to go over to, where is it, tires. And you can see the pressure right there, the PSI. So you want to just, uh, you know, start like going fast. And you'll see what your PSI gets to. So you want to, oh, wait, this is wrong. Heat. That's my bad. So you want to keep driving, you know. You want to warm up your tires a little bit. You know, nice. That's good. Once they're clear, it's pretty good. You can go back to PSI. So you can see 29 PSI. It's pretty good. Actually, that's a pretty good grip. You can keep it at 30 then. You want to have it like... I, don't, I think he... Yeah, keeping it... Like this is actually pretty good. Let's warm him up a bit. Oh, nice. Look at that. Now they're warm. So, 29 will give you a pretty good grip. We might bump it up just once so we get 30. Um, so, let's do that. Just 31. And because it's pretty cool, chilly, we get nice warmth. Uh, a nice tire pressure. Oh shit, 33. Alright, you might want to turn it down then. A little bit. Keep, you want to keep it around like 30. So. Yeah, they're pretty high. So you want to slow down and stop. So like basically when you're driving, your tires will like get clear and stuff. So yeah, I guess uh, keeping it at 30 was pretty good actually. So we'll keep it at that. All right, and then alignment. So uh, for your camber alignment, you want to be in this telemetry tab again. And you can see right here, in the tires and mist, it says camber for when you're turning. You can see how uh, you, you want to look at your outside tire. So if you're turning left, you want to look at your right tire. If you're turning right, you want to look at your left. This is how I'm turning. I have a negative two camber and stuff. So let me go right here. So when I go here, and I, you know, try to turn... We look at my camber so and we want to keep it relatively like zero so it's going to be bouncing around positive and negative values on the opposite tire so see the camber here so you can see it's bouncing around negative and positive so zero camber this is pretty good we'll keep it as zero camber and uh yeah that's 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 how i tune my car I uh, hope it helped you guys. Sorry, sorry for my horrible explaining. You know, I just not very good at explaining things. You know, so sorry about that. But uh, that's how you tune your car to like perfection. In my in my opinion, I I've been rely I rely on this a lot, and it actually works for me a lot um, in online races and stuff. You know, for cornering. But, you know, there's a lot more for cornering and stuff than just car weight and stuff. So, if you guys want me to do a cornering tutorial, I'll make a video on that. Uh, if this does any good. So, if you guys like this video, um, you know, like, subscribe. If you do want to see that cornering tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.